What are the lenses you wear that guide and shape how you understand the truth and the promises of God's Word? We all have them. We all have lenses that we look through that help us interpret the world around us, even how we interpret God's Word. Perhaps one of the greatest lenses that we look through is the lens of our own feelings. Our feelings are strong and they're real, and they are a gift from God. But your feelings might not always be correct. I have the conversation in this time of the year with people, why can't I be on the golf course and worship? Why can't I find God in the mountains? And certainly God is there with His presence and His promises, but He does tell us in the third commandment that we are not to despise preaching and His word, and especially the place where He gives us His gifts. As we gather in worship, we receive the Lord's Supper, forgiveness of sins, we celebrate baptism, and we have His mighty word preached into our ears, a truth that is not subjective to what I feel or believe, but it is true because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. One of the biggest things that happens when we are guided and shaped by our feelings is that our feelings suddenly drive us to think that what I feel is correct and then God's word is wrong. As a society, we're struggling with this right now with the gender issues. I feel this way, or I feel that way. And in doing so, because of our feelings, we begin to put our feeling above what God has said in his word. The objective truth that God created them male and female is now secondary to how I feel about who I am. The danger in that, dear saints, is every time we put our feeling, our subjective reality, above the objective truth of God's Word, we are elevating ourselves to the position of God. That's a first commandment issue. Your feelings are your own, and they are to be dealt with. I can't dismiss your feelings and shouldn't. But what I would like you to consider is that your feelings might not be the objective truth that you think they are. The objective truth is, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And he comes with forgiveness. We also hear from God's word in Matthew, even as the Son of Man came, he did not come to be served, but to serve. He comes to be the one that goes to the cross for you, that dies for all of your sins, that dies for all of the times when your feelings have put you at odds with God's word. It is through his truth, through his Holy Spirit, that he gives us the strength to see and understand the world rightly through the lens of his word first, which then interprets my feelings instead of the other way around. 